Ufotable delivered the best episode of the Demon Slayer series, or, should I say, the best setup episode of all time in anime, the final episode of the whole series, Season 4, Episode 8. In this video, we will discuss what made this episode so special. Without further delay, let's jump right into the video. From the start of the episode, it was very eerie and creepy. Even Muzan, the demon lord himself, was creeped out. We got to know about the thousands of years of battle between demons and demon slayers. The curse on the Ubuyashiki clan, basically their reason to live was to kill Muzan. The contrast between the demon lord and the leader of the demon slayer corps was insane, in ways it was poetic. Muzan, the demon, was calling Ubuyashiki, the human, hideous. The trash talk was insanity. Ubuyashiki said that if I died, demon slayers would still continue. And if you, Muzan, died, all demons would be wiped out. Muzan, who came with the intent to kill Ubuyashiki, was feeling relief, and the kind Ubuyashiki was the one who was hiding his murderous intent and hatred. He hated Muzan so much that he blew himself away with his wife and children. I mean their clan was hunting Muzan for last thousand years. Of course he hated Muzan, and the explosion was so well done that it looked like a live action movie. The animation, sound design, voice acting, camera angles, everything was perfect. To be honest, I thought Muzan had exploded the house with his demon arts, until Tanjiro mentioned he can smell tons of explosives. FYI, I haven't read the manga, so don't give any spoilers in the comments. Coming back, the planning from both sides was so good. At first, it looked like Muzan had the upper hand, but Ubuyashiki already knew when he was coming, thanks to the foresight ability of his clan. Their plan was to hit Muzan with an explosion as big as possible, in order to make his body busy regenerating, so that they can mobilize him with the help of Tamayo, and make him absorb the drug that can turn demons into humans. And if cutting off his head doesn't work, then fight him till sunrise. Also, Guillaume was in on it as he was the only one who can carry out this burden and he was hiding with the help of Tamayo's paper markings as well. We saw Guillaume fight for the first time as Hashira, and that too against Mazan. No doubt he is the strongest Hashira. And Mazan's plan was to kill Ubuyashiki and wipe out the whole Demon Slayer core in Nakime's The Infinity Castle. That's why Nakime's eyes were tracking all the Demon Slayers to pull everyone in Infinity Castle, then looking for Nezuko to attain immortality to walk in the sunlight, as he said he has all the time in the world to find Nezuko. Although Kagaya explains Mazan, what true eternity is, it is the human will, that has been passed down. As per plan Mazan brought everyone in the Infinity Castle. Everyone after falling into the Infinity Castle was freaked out, hyped, angry, or concerned, but my man Zenitsu was so calm, his eyes look almost lifeless. Whatever was in that letter, it has awakened him for real this time. I can't wait to see him pop off. Both side executed their plan but no one succeeded, but no one failed as well. It was so well written and executed. The Infinity Castle animation has to be the best 3D animation to exist, and those crazy camera angles. And the most amazing part of the episode was that there was no forgiveness. Both sides were ready to finish each other, not that typical shonen forgiveness or saving the enemy. Both sides hated each other, and were ready for all the smoke. This was an amazing setup, build-up, trailer, or whatever you can call it for the upcoming movie trilogy. Muzan is so strong that they had to keep him out of these upcoming fights, by making him unable to move. I am sure he will free himself soon, and somehow he will find Nezuko because there is no way we will have the finale without these two joining the action. Comment below with your thoughts on the episode, and if it hyped you up for the upcoming movie trilogy. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, watch my previous videos, and we will meet in the next one.